Satellite images that provide evidence of the massacre in the Ukrainian town of Butcher. They came from a private satellite operator whose images detailing the war have drawn lots of attention. Anyone can order their photos and business is booming. Two, one. New satellites are launched almost every day. Not much larger than a wine bottle, they're equipped with high-resolution cameras that can deliver images to a customer's computer within 10 minutes. The best cameras can capture details as small as 30 by 30 centimetres. It's clear that there is a higher intensity of usage uh, for customers and partners uh, in these times of conflict. Francois Lombard is part of Pleiades Neo, a mission of the Airbus Group that specializes in satellite imagery. In these times of, uh, of conflict, this is where um, you see a, a raise of interest uh, for certain customers to prepare for uh, long-term solutions in terms of access to imagery. And some of them, you know, they jump into uh, uh, projects of buying their own satellites. Some others, they discuss with us over the long term to have an access to our imagery. Satellite operators like Pleiades Neo earn most of their money working for the intelligence community and national governments. So he's not able to go into specifics. But there are other areas, like farming, where satellite images are useful too. The technology can help to ensure the optimum care of crops, thereby boosting the harvest. A satellite can reach places that farmers can't always get to, just because they can't be everywhere at once. So satellite imagery allows farmers to observe all their fields at once. Markus Müller works for an institute that advises the German government on issues of agriculture and cultivating plants. Satellite images can be used, for example, to determine the best time to put down fertilizer. In those cases, infrared images are used. These ones show that some of the fields are at a stage where they currently need fertilizer. It's always helpful if you can apply fertilizer in an optimal way and when it's needed, rather than just blitzing the entire farm. That protects resources, which is part of what we're about. That's the kind of thing we focus on. The satellites themselves are getting steadily smaller and lighter. That lowers the price of putting them into orbit, which in turn lowers the price for the images. You could now get satellite images all year round for just a few thousand euros. What I see is that there are more and more users, which are small users, uh, startups, small companies, maybe even private uh, person, engineers wanting to do something with imagery. The resolution is improving too. So could people soon start spying on their neighbours for a small fee? You may see whether there are some people on the picture. Uh, you, you will see the, the maybe movements of, uh, of population, but you will not see uh, the personal information. So you would need to go uh, much further than that in terms of resolution. So we don't have this specific issue. Uh, now, uh, we still have a lot of regulations we need to, uh, uh, to take care of, which is being very protective. In recent months, investors have pumped millions into private companies selling satellite images in anticipation of huge market growth. But in times of war, those same satellites could also be targeted by the warring forces who don't want their actions observed. <laughs>